And we slid so good, dude. Now it's just a pile of dust. My name is Tom Asta. I live in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. I really like living in Langhorne. I mean, I've lived here my whole life. My favorite things about Langhorne are probably just that it's, it's easy to get around. Everything's right here. It's very quiet, nice, like suburban, I guess, but close enough to like the city. And it's just a good location. It's comfortable. It's good for the kids. It's, it's I love living here. Langhorne for skating is not the best, probably. Um, there's a few spots, you know, a few spots I grew up skating but they never had really like that great of spots. It was, it was parking lots or, you know, little manual pads here and there or something. At night when everything's closed, this like, it always used to remind me of like a Cali spot where like you skate under the hallways, the ground was always good and it was like different like levels. In Langhorne, I feel like the most iconic skate spots that maybe um, people from other areas have seen is uh, Neshaminy High School. Has a, a sevens there that I've skated, that Chris Cole skated, and a few other people. So that, I wouldn't even call it famous, but someone from somewhere else may have seen that spot before. It's my high school, local sevens there. Actually, it's still pretty, like, I mean, it's, that ground looks like it'll rip you up a bit. It's one of the only spots I ever got so pissed at that I like focused my own board. Really? Try Nolly, Nolly 180 heel one. I think there's either, there's either Nolly at like 180 heel or switch barrel heel. I forget which one it was, but I tried for a while and it's like, it just kept sticking on it. Like just wouldn't ride away. I just like, focused my shit. I ended up doing it though. <laughs> it's probably a long time ago, dude. It was in Patchwork video. And then Langhorn also has a, there's a gap over a pole. Um, it's not really in, it's like right on the cusp of Langhorn. But um, that's another spot that, that me and Chris Cole have skated, so people might have seen that. But um, not, too, not too much, it's not the best for skating. Obviously, I expected the ground to get worse, but the ledge itself is crumbling apart, dude. Oh, it used to be sick. They hated us here, though. We get kicked out so fast. But we slid so good, dude. Now it's just a pile of dust. Pretty sick, though. Good little spot. That's about all we're going to get out of it today. Yeah, it's just stomping grounds again, dude. A little flat cap I grew up skating. Like, I don't know, come to work with my parents. They work right there, and I would just skate around town and session this thing for hours, practice my flat ground. It's small, but it's fun, dude. It's perfect. There's also a Middletown skate park 
Got built about two years ago. It's the best. It's where I'm at skating probably at least two to three times a week. Just hit the park. It's a local five minutes from my house. Uh, but yeah, I love that place, man. It's the best. Langhorne's pretty big. I live in the, the borough of Langhorne, so I mean the downtown if you would. But um, for me it is, yeah, I can, I can skate from my house to the coffee shop, to the bar, to the hardware store. There's a little old school hardware store here. Um, you know, 7-Elevens, dollars, whatever, little convenience stores. I can ride my bike to the grocery store. So it's definitely, definitely easy to get around um, if you don't have a car. My favorite coffee spot to go to it's right on the corner up here, across the street from the bar. If you go there, you get jet fuel. Cold brews uh, with espresso. It's banging. It'll get you going in the morning for sure. And then, uh, yeah, favorite restaurants has to be the Langhorn Hotel. It's owned by my parents. They make delicious food. Um, and then they also have like a, a tavern as well. The reason I stay here and, and the reason I love it in Langhorne so much is just because I feel like it's a community that always has something going on, but they, like everyone kind of knows each other. You walk, in the, you walk in the coffee shop, I'll probably know four or five people. You walk in the bar, I'll know pretty much everyone there working and everyone there eating. And it's just like very local. Everyone's real involved here and everyone gets along real well. It's just a, it's like kind of a small town vibe without being super small. Like we're not in the middle of nowhere, but it's also like got that feel to it, which is pretty, pretty rad. And they also do concerts in the park every other Wednesday in the summer. They just always have something going on, something for the community, something for people to do to keep, to keep it uh, alive here. I don't know. It's really cool, though.